emotion will cloud your judgment. And there are a lot of people who have an emotional reaction to the Eubanks. They seriously dislike them. And their hatred, in fact, I'll use a stronger term as that, their hatred for the Eubanks clouds their judgment and blinds them from seeing the reality. One of the things that I keep on hearing about the Eubanks from various different boxing fans or about Eubank Jr. is that Eubank Jr. has been mismanaged. This is something which a lot of people in boxing have also said. People like Frank Warren and Eddie Hearn and you know other people have said he's been managed terribly. He's been badly advised. Now, I don't really understand how people can sit there and say that. Eubank Jr. is one of the biggest names in British boxing right now. He's only got one loss on his record, and that was a close points decision loss to Billy Joe Saunders, who's a current world champion. Eubank Jr. is in a tournament right now where he's earning a lot of money every fight. How has he been badly managed? I don't get it. What, for not taking the Golovkin fight? Most of you thought that he was going to get destroyed by Golovkin anyway. So how is him not taking the Golovkin fight bad management? If he'd done what Eddie Hearn wanted him to do and taken the fight, most of you believe he would have got destroyed. So how would that have been good management? To put a fighter who's green and not ready for it in with Golovkin and got, getting battered and then potentially being damaged goods. How would have that been good management? I don't get it. You've lost me. You may not like the Eubanks. You may not like the things that they say. You may not like the attitude, the swag, whatever. But Eubank Sr. is eccentric as he may seem to a lot of people. Clearly, he's not managed his son's career that badly. Clearly. If you see the position that his son is in right now doing pay-per-view on ITV. They've got their own TV deal. They're not going through an Eddie Hearn or a Frank Warren. And boxing is all about timing. I think Eubank Jr. has entered this tournament at the perfect time in his career. Now, there's no management job which is perfect. You're always going to make some mistakes. And I guess you could say the one mistake that Eubank Sr. made was putting his son in with Billy Joe maybe a little bit too early, but it wasn't a terrible mistake because he learned a lot from the fight for one and for two, he didn't get blown out. He was still very competitive in the fight. It was close. So apart from that minor error of judgment, I would say Eubank Jr. has been very, very well managed actually and have picked the right fights at the right time for him. I remember when uh, Eddie Hearn wanted Eubank Jr. to fight who? Was it Danny Jacobs? And instead he was like, no, let me not take that fight. I'm going to go and fight Nick Blackwell for the British title. And Eddie Hearn was saying, oh, this is a terrible decision and blah, blah, blah. How is it a terrible decision? I don't think Eubank Jr. was ready for Danny Jacobs at that time. I thought, and you go back and look at my videos that I made at the time. I said, I think the Nick Blackwell fight is a perfect fight for him. And it was. When you look back now, the things that he gained from those fights, I think it was the perfect fight for him against Nick Blackwell with his rivals sat ringside, the Furies with Billy Joe and hostile type of atmosphere against a very game and brave Nick Blackwell. A high pressure situation. He needed to be in a high pressure situation. And yeah, it turned out to be a dominant performance by him. But it's not just performing, it's performing under pressure. And that's what that fight gave him. So, yeah, I think they've picked the right fights at the right time. The Abraham fight was the right fight at the right time. And I have to reiterate, this tournament, I think, is coming at exactly the right time for Eubank Jr. Yildirim clearly was the best pick that Eubank Sr. could have made for his son. And in the semifinals, he'll face either George Groves or Jamie Cox. <clears throat> I think he's got a beat in the George Groves. George Groves of several years ago, the Groves who fought Carl Frotch, may be a different story. But as I've said many times, ad nauseum really, I don't think Groves is the same guy. 
just my opinion. That's what I see. I don't see the same guy that I saw in his uh, early days. And I was, I, I love watching George Groves fight in the early days. When he beat James DeGale, I was fully on board. But I don't see the same guy, man. I just have to be honest and tell you what I see. I don't see the same guy. And I think Eubank Jr. has got the beating of this version of George Groves that we have currently. I also think George Groves has got the beating of Callum Smith. I'm going to nail my colours to the mask right now. I think Eubank Jr. beats George Groves and Callum Smith. I'm not saying that Eubank Jr. is invincible in the division. I'm just saying that style-wise, I think he's got the, the measure of both those men. Groves, I think, is jaded. I mean, you look at how easily people like Chudinov and Martin Murray were able to close Groves down and get, you know, pin him up against the ropes and get punches off. Eubank Jr. is like 10 times faster than both of those guys and way more dynamic as an attacking force. If those guys can pin him down that easily, I don't see why Eubank Jr. can't. Groves just don't have that speed that he used to have anymore. Still got the power, yeah, but he don't have that speed anymore to be able to be an elusive target. And as far as Callum Smith, Smith is a big, strong guy. He hits hard, but he is slow as molasses compared to Eubank Jr. Eubank Jr., spars guys the size of Callum Smith all the time in the gym I know they're not as good as Callum Smith necessarily but they're that kind of size and to me Smith just looks like a big slow stiff target for Eubank Jr that's what he looks like to me I'm not saying he's not a good fighter I'm not saying he don't bring certain things to the table in terms of attributes but I don't know man I, I just see a very very hittable slow target for Eubank Jr who I keep telling you, is underrated defensively. The way he slips and slides. And Eubank Jr. does make mistakes. Sometimes he lunges with his hooks badly and throws himself off balance. He did that even in the Yildirim fight. He really commits to his shots. But he slips and slides after throwing himself off balance and makes it very difficult for his opponent to, opponents to counter him. Especially a guy as slow as Callum. So you're trying to tell me Callum Smith is fast? You're trying to tell me he's not robotic? I'm telling you now, people, Eubank Jr. is so much faster than that guy, it's going to be jarring when you see the speed difference between the two of them. Eubank slipping and sliding underneath Callum Smith's shots and you know coming up with hooks and uppercuts, fast shots, moving around. The side. I don't know. I just think he's going to outmaneuver Callum Smith. That's what I feel. But yeah, whether people like the Eubanks or hate the Eubanks, I think they're better, or I think the Sun is a better fighter than maybe the majority of fans want to admit to themselves. And I think uh, English, the father, Eubank Senior, I think he's a better manage manager than people are giving him credit for too. You know, if they'd gone the Eddie Hearn route and done the things Hearn wanted him to do, he would have got thrown in with what, Golovkin and Jacobs? before he'd even fought the likes of Blackwell, and you think that's the right move for him? Really? You think that would have been the good management? I don't think so at all. I think the, the, the best way is the way they've actually done it. And look, I understand that some people believe that they just use Golovkin's name for publicity, and they don't like that. I understand why people wouldn't like that. But from a management point of view, if that's indeed what they did, it was obviously a good job, isn't it? It was obviously a good job. They got his name up there. They got publicity. And they went and took fights that Eubank Jr. needed for his development rather than throwing him in with Golovkin when he was far too green. Anyway, let me know how you feel in the comment section below, people. It's Hatman, I'm out.